I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll see what's coming up for the present time around the third week of October. Just remember, time is fluid when you get these readings, so it could be now, or it could go into November. We'll see what's coming up for the challenge, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this devil card, and then we got the king of wands. Now, just a little bit about this devil card. You have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. Now, if you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have a feeling that you're not in control of your life. Now, keep in mind, sometimes this happens as a result of your own actions, but more often as a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if that's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Because small baby steps, they're important too. Now it's with the King of Wands, which is indicating a man who could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. This person will want to serve, serve as a mentor for you. King of Wands is a positive card in the tarot. Even when it does not represent an actual person in your life, it does signify that you could have men around you who are, who are very supportive of you and they think well of you. So, you're probably feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you probably have the will to accomplish what, whatever you had in your mind. So basically, Libra, for the recent past energy, between you and your person, the devil card is clarified by this king of wands. So what I'm getting is that you're dealing with someone that has some toxicity, where they bring toxicity to the connection, or they're toxic, they've got addictions, maybe. Addictions can be greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust, alcoholism, some type of toxic energy they bring to the connection, or they're just toxic, or addictions. Now, because it's clarified by this King of Wands, it's showing that you have very caring and protective feelings about this person. It's like you want to fix everything. Caring and protective. And if you don't want to fix everything or make everything right or just try to... Um, some people try to, I don't know, some people try to, I don't know, do you try, maybe you try to change this person, but you, we all know that only, the only person that can change themselves is the, the actual person, but anyway, King of Wands is, like I said, about protective and caring feelings, and that's how you feel about your person. You care a lot about this person. But boy, are they toxic. Yep, that's the recent past energy. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up.
Well, we got justice and it's with the Hierophant. So justice, it actually deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a, re is a direct result of your own action because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you're directly involved in a court case and you get the justice card in a reading, well, it's likely to be resolved at least a large, a large degree in your favor. Now, it's with the Hierophant. The Hierophant, with this card, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When you're called on for advice or help with some important matters, your intelligence and empathy puts you in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone that you know. They're quick-witted, well-educated. They're a wise teacher marked by integrity. Yeah, this Hierophant, they are the, the real deal, a genuine article, a true blue. They're highly admired individuals who walk the walk, talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. So basically, coming up, justice clarified by this Hierophant. So it looks like, wow, it looks like you're going to let your person have it. I'm just looking at the way she's standing in this picture of the justice card, that, that card is above the word present. That's justice. See how she's got her fists? Like, bam, she just, she just forced it forward and upward. Yeah, you're going to let your person have it. Whether it's verbally or physically. Because she's got her fist like it's balled up. It's like she just socks him, socked it to him. So, anyway, I hope you're not abusive. But that's what it looks like. Bam, bam. That's what she did. <laughs> so, you gotta let your person have it, Libra. Like I said, verb, physically or verbally. You kind of, looks like you had enough. Because I don't know if you can see the details in her face. But it's like, ooh, you know, it's, it's like you're just letting them have it. And it's probably some things that you're going to say that you've been keeping inside. And it's, and it's built up and you're ready to release. You're ready to release those words, those feelings. Maybe some hurt. <laughs> that this toxic energy has brought to this connection. Yeah, because because the Hierophant is here. Well, you're going to let them know that the connection, it needs to be more like the Hierophant. More genuine, more true, more loyal more honest, without toxicity. The Hierophant doesn't bring toxicity because it's, it's the real deal. It's about integrity. It's about being loyal, walking the walk and talking the talk, standing tall and firm in what they say and what they're going to do. The Hierophant is also about deep love. So you let your person have it. So you tell them this is what it's supposed to be like. It's supposed to, you, you two are supposed to have something moral, ethical, traditional. That's what you want. You don't want a bunch of... <sighs> negative negativity, you don't want um, toxicity, toxicity, you don't need that energy anymore, so you let your person have it, and you feel justified, 
Justice card is about, is about feeling justified, feeling that you have the right to do so. So you feel it's about time to let your person have it, and you tell them exactly how it should be and what you're ready to be done with. Yeah, you let them have it, so you feel justified in doing so. Now let's move on over and let's take a look and see what we got for the challenge. Well, we got the Ace of Cups, that's beautiful, and the Sun card. That's beautiful. Now, the Ace of Cups is a very powerful, positive card when it comes to love, happiness, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings. It usually means love, but it could indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up. People will respond to you with love, happiness, goodwill, more than usually at this time. So, it's about feeling good about life overall great time to make friends if you're in a relationship it takes a turn for the better yeah deeper level of understanding or commitment or almost any important aspect of a relationship it's going to feel like a new encouraging start now it's with the sun card the sun card it's showing that things are like, likely to be going really well for you. Your finances, they're in good shape when you get this card. Now, this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on the list for some people. I know for most of it, it us, it is. This is also a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, the sun card, it signifies this right around the corner. Okay, so the challenge, Ace of Cups, clarified by the sun. Well, it looks like after you let your person have it. It looks like, oh, I don't know. Wow, you must have really... You must have really been firm because this person is coming around. Yep, they're ready to, to sit up straight. They want a new beginning of love and happiness and a lot of affection with you. And they want a new beginning. They want a, a fresh, new, encouraging start. So this, this person is ready to change. They feel that you add sunshine to their life. You are their bright and happy. You're their bright and happy days. So this person, it looks like they could actually change for you. Because the Ace of Cups is about, you know, a new fresh start, a new beginning. So if they don't do it right away. They're really trying. They're going for it. They want this new beginning with you. They want to fix whatever is wrong and make it right so you two can have a fresh new start. Yeah, you make this person really happy. You see how the sun card, it, it stands out, out, of, out of, it stands out over all the cards in the reading. You see how it's glowing? That's how they that's how you make them feel. So things, it looks like things will be turning around for the better. So let's move on over and let's take a look at the outcome. We got the Knight of, yeah, that's a Knight of Pentacles. And it's with the Four of Swords. Now the Knight of Pentacles, it's about stability. So it's about being a provider, bringing security and support to the relationship. It means a solid commitment. Commitment is solid. So, yeah, it's, like I said, it's about solid, stable, 
and, and a committed relationship. Yeah, this person's knight of pinnacles. They're very practical, patient, protective. It's like the knight of pinnacles, just to sum it up, it's the knight in shining armor. Yeah, this type of person is loyal, faithful, and not interested in cheating or playing the field. Very stable type of energy, very loyal. But it's with this Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords, it's a card that signifies a need for a break, could be for normal life. This can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. Keep in mind that withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. Yeah, and I say this because if you see the picture of the Four of Swords, the card that's below the word outcome, it looks like this man, he went up to the top of the mountains, he took his four dogs with him and four swords and a candle. Yeah, so he's, he's out for the count. He needs rest after some type of struggle. So it looks like he, he's planning on being there maybe overnight, maybe a couple of days or so. And I say this because he put a candle in the shoe and it's lit. So he's not coming back down anytime soon. He'll be there through the darkness. Yeah. And he has the four swords surrounding him. So... He will use them if, if he has to. Yeah, this person needs rest and um, does not want to be disturbed. So keep in mind, this withdrawal is not permanent. But it is a sign to give people their space. You could be feeling like you need some time and space to yourself. Maybe others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. But don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, you want to make sure you take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Yeah, so the outcome, Knight of Pentacles and Four of Swords. So this is, this is pretty good. Nine of Pentacles, like I said, your person, they're ready to, to clean up their act, whatever this devil energy is, and have a fresh new start with you. You make them so happy. You probably don't even know it because they bring so much negativity or addictions to the connection. You think they're fixed on that. But deep down inside, you're the one. They know you're the one that makes them smile, makes them happy inside. So they, the Knight of Pentacles, that's your person, they're coming in, they're coming in to let you know that uh, they're ready, they're really ready to make things happen. They want to be more practical, patient, protective. This person wants to be your knight in shining armor, more loyal, more faithful. And they want to bring stability to this connection because I'm sure it was unstable with this devil energy that they brought to the connection. So yeah, your person really wants to change for you. And after you let them have it, yeah, I think that's what did it. You put your foot down and you told them what the real deal was or how it should be. And if you haven't done that, it's saying that's what you're going to do, and it's going to turn everything around. Now, because the Four of Swords is, is here, it's, it's showing that you, you might have went through a lot with this person, with, their, with that type of energy. So it's just showing that, wow, you just need to rest. Yeah, your person probably put you through a lot. So it's showing that you need rest after, after the struggle with this person. But you come around. Yeah, you might. Well, the Four of Swords is, could be about ghosting someone. It's a withdrawal. It's a, um, 
and like I said, going away, taking a break, but it's not permanent. So you come back around and it looks like um, you and your person, you're off to an, a new beginning and it's just showing that they're going to try to make everything right and make it like a fresh new start. So they, they did listen to you, Libra. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below on the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Libra, thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. That really, really helps my channel a lot. So, thank you so much. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there, it's gonna pass. And we will all get through this, so stay strong, take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Libra reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Now keep in mind, some of my subscribers, they ask, well how could this be? I'm not dealing with anyone. Well, like I said, these are general readings they're not personal readings so you have to take the story for however it fits your situation you have to take the reading for however if it um goes with what you're going through um and yes this could be a friend it could be a family member so keep that in mind but these are love readings so for most of you it will be a love interest So, Libra, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. Like I said, please come back and join me for the next reading. I hope to see you then. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.